Good day, my dear students. I am Araceli Lin P. Palomillo, a grade 10 math teacher of Manuel Luis Quezon High School. Welcome again to our virtual discussion of lessons in grade 10 mathematics. We are now on week 9 of the second quarter of this school year. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to graph and solve problems involving circles and other geometric figures on the coordinate plane. But before that, let us look back to your lesson. Let us recall the different terms and definitions related to circle. First, the coordinate plane. Next, the circle and the center of the circle. And then, the radius of the circle. Also, the equation of the circle in standard and general form. Aside from this, let us also look back on how we can determine the center and radius of a circle in a given equation. Example, what is the center and radius of the circle? The square of the quantity x minus 3 plus the square of the quantity y plus 2 is equal to 49. How do we solve this? First, use the standard form of the equation of the circle. If you compare that into our given equation, you can easily see the value of h, which is 3, but not on the value of k on the second parenthesis. Let us rewrite first the expression instead of y plus 2, we will write y minus negative 2. And same thing in 49 into 7 squared. Now, can you identify the center and radius of a circle? Let us see if you got it correct. So the center is at point 3, negative 2, and the radius which is equal to 7 units. Are you now ready with our discussion? Today, we're going to take up graphing and solving problems involving circles and other geometric figures on the coordinate plane. Let us have example 1. On a coordinate plane, graph the circle represented by the equation x squared plus y squared is equal to 16. To solve the problem, first, we write the given equation in standard form. Can you identify the center and the radius of the circle now? In this case, the center is at point zero zero, and its radius is 4 units. Next step, locate the point zero zero on the coordinate plane. Where is the point located? It is at the origin. Next, count out 4 units to the right from the center of the circle, and then 4 units above, or to the left, or below the center of the circle. Why? Because the radius is 4 units and to create 4 points. These points are points on the circle. Then, connect the points with the best curve that you can to sketch the graph of a circle. Finally, label the graph. So this is the graph of x squared plus y squared is equal to 16. Let us have example 2. Graph the square of the quantity x plus 2 plus the square of the quantity y minus 4 is equal to 25. Again, we write the equation in standard form. Can you identify the center and radius of the circle based on this equation? Let us check your answer. The center is at point negative 2, 4, and the radius is 5 units. Let's do the graphing. Locate the point negative 2, 4 on the coordinate plane. Where is the location of the point? It is on quadrant 2. And this point is the center of the circle. Next, count 5 units to the right from the center of the circle. Then 5 units above, to the left, or below the center of the circle. Why? Because the given radius is 5 units. Then, let's connect the points. Finally, label the graph. So this is the graph of the square of the quantity x plus 2 plus the square of the quantity y minus 4 is equal to 25. Let us have another example. On a coordinate plane, graph the circle represented by the equation x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 135 is equal to 0. If you observe, the given equation is written in general form. 
How can we identify the center and the radius of the circle if the equation is in general form? Here are the steps. First, add 135 to both sides of the equation. Then, simplify. On the left side of the equation, group terms involving x and terms involving y. Then, complete the square on x squared minus 6x. That will be now x squared minus 6x plus 9. Since you have added 9 on the left side of the equation, you are going to add also 9 on the right side of the equation. Factor x squared minus 6x plus 9. That will be the square of the quantity x minus 3. Then simplify 135 plus 9, that is 144. Can you identify now the center and the radius of the circle? Of course, we're going to write that first in standard form. So the center is at 0 0.30 and the radius is 12 units. Plot the 0 0.30 on the coordinate plane. Count out 12 units from the center to the right, above, to the left, or below the center of the circle to get 4 points on the circle. Then... Connect the points to the best curve that you can. Here we are. The graph of x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 135 is equal to 0. Example 4. Find the equation in standard form of a circle whose center is at point Z negative 1 negative 1 and passes through the point P negative 5 negative 1. Draw the circle. Let us illustrate. Plot the points negative 1, negative 1, which is the center of the circle, and the point negative 5, negative 1, which is the point on the circle. Now, how many units is from the center to that point? It is 4 units. Let us locate the other points on the circle with radius 4 units. Let's connect the points on the circle. But what is the equation of the circle? Let's compute. Since the center HK is equal to negative 1, negative 1, and the distance between two points is 4 units, we will substitute these values to the standard form of the equation. So the result is the square of the quantity x plus 1 plus the square of the quantity y plus 1 is equal to 4 squared. And that is also the same as the square of the quantity x plus 1 plus the square of the quantity y plus 1 is equal to 16. So here is the graph and the equation of the circle. Let us have another example. A router for a wireless network in Mrs. Garcia's house has a range of 100 meters. If drawn on a coordinate plane, the router is located at point 2040. Draw the graph and find the equation of the circle in standard form which represents the router coverage. To draw the graph, let us locate the point 2040 on the coordinate plane which is the location of the router and the center of the router's coverage. Since the router's coverage is 100 meters, that represents the radius of the circle. Here is the first point on the circle. Let us find the other three points. And here they are. They are also 100 units from the point 2040. Let us connect the points to draw the circle. We have drawn the circle, but what is the equation in standard form of the circle? Let us compute. So our given center is at point 2040 and the radius is equal to 100 units. Again, we will use the standard form of the equation of a circle. Substituting the values, we have now the square of the quantity x minus 20 plus the square of the quantity y minus 40 is equal to 100 squared. If that is also the same as the square of the quantity x minus 20 plus the square of the quantity y minus 40 is equal to 10,000. So this is the graph of the circle. Our last example. The coordinates of the endpoints of a central angle of a circle 
are points 13, 4, and 6, negative 3. When two endpoints are connected, it forms an isosceles triangle. If the radius of the circle is 7 units, what is the perimeter of the triangle? According to the given problem, the coordinates of the endpoints of the central angle is at point 13, 4, and 6, negative 3. And when two endpoints are connected, it forms an isosceles triangle. Recall that an isosceles triangle is a triangle that has two equal sides. So, if the radius of the circle is 7 units, since the two sides of the triangles are radii of the circle, therefore, the two sides measure 7 units each. But the question is, what is the perimeter of the triangle? Then how are we going to find the third side of the triangle? To solve for the length of the third side, we are going to use the distance formula. It is defined by the equation d is equal to the square root of the square of the quantity x sub 2 minus x sub 1 plus the square of the quantity y sub 2 minus y sub 1. How are we going to use this? From the given two points, let us assign the first point as 6, negative 3, and 13, 4 as the second point. Therefore, the values of x sub 2 is equal to 13, x sub 1 is equal to 6, y sub 2 is equal to 4, and y sub 1 is equal to negative 3. Let us substitute these values on the given formula. So, it's become now the square root of the square of the quantity 13 minus 6 plus the square of the quantity 4 minus negative 3. Then, simplifying the expression, d is equal to 7 square root of 2 units. If the sides of the triangle is denoted by a, b, and c, the perimeter p is defined as the sum of the length of its three sides or, in symbols, P is equal to A plus B plus C. In our given problem, the two sides of the triangle are both 7 units. And, on our computation for the third side, it is 7 square root of 2 units. So, so therefore, the perimeter of the triangle in the given problem is 14 plus 7 square root of 2 units. Thank you for watching and learning with me. I'm leaving you this famous quote from Danny Kay. It states that, Draw a circle, not a heart around the one you love. Because a heart can break, but the circle goes forever.